Hey YouTube's Pokemon fan here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to um, ROM hack with Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby if you want. But this is going to require you to have Homebrew. Uh, homebrew does work all over to 10.3 as of now. Uh, for it to work, you would need, need Ironfall version 1.0 to 1.1. You would uh, need, or if you don't have that game, you need Ocarina of Time or Nin or Cubic Ninja. There's a couple other ways, but the couple other ways are kind of hard to do. So I just mean recommend those if you have those methods, or if you have a Sky 3DS and you can get Cubic Ninja or Ocarina of Time. Don't matter what country region, but you need to have Homebrew to make the other country versions work. So if you have a USA DS, get a USA copy of Cubic Ninja or whatever the ROMs. I won't supply links for ROMs in the description but everything else I'm going to supply links for okay so first off you're going to need oh you know, later in the video like what to do to dump your ROM and everything uh, you're going to need brain dump and you're going to need a program called Hans now the new update for I'll do it which is pretty simple to find, and then brain dump you have to actually download from the from GBA Tim's homebrew page, which all links will be in the description. Once you get done doing the downloads and everything, um, what you're gonna do is that when you brain dump and everything, it takes a little bit of time depending on what game. Um, Alpha Sapphire and Omega Two really take about 30 minutes, but you'll get this file right here, and this is for Alpha Sapphire. And then you'll get folders like this, which is exefs.bin and romfs.bin. And then you're gonna what you're gonna do with those files is that you're gonna transfer them, and you're gonna put them in here, and your users. You can copy or transfer. I just like copying it because just in case I mess up, I can go back to it. And you just paste them there. It could take a little bit of time because they're ROM files. And then what you have to do next is, I like I said, everything will be in the description below. Um, after that, when that gets finished, I'm not going to really fully do it because I already have everything. You're going to have command. You go to start and type in CMD and you'll get something like this. And then you'll need to go to... The program I'm going to put in the files for you to download is going to be in the description. And you'll get this thing right here called ROM Hack Starter Pack. And you'll get the CMD codes file. Text file. To do this one, the CTR tool uh, ROMs.bin uh, command. And when you do that, it gives you a big long list of files that's going to be your game. And then the, after that, when that finishes, that could take a while for the first one. You're going to do the second one, which is the compress code exefs.bin. And once you do all that, um, my mouse is kind of acting up a little bit. It does that sometimes. After that, you'll get two different program files, which I'll show you all, which is right here, which is ROM, FS dot, or not dot, DIR, and then the same for exe. But if you want to be able to do some stuff with a program called PK3DS, which is what I use to randomize, you're going to have to rename it to EXE. And then when you go in here, you'll find a, f a file called code.bin. What you're going to do is rename that to dot code.bin, and I'll show you the reason why for this in a minute. And then when you get everything else done, you're going to open PK3DS. Oh, I opened the wrong program. I opened PK Hex, but that's a different program. So it kind of made a error. But you're going to open up uh, you're going to open up this, which is PK PK3 
3DS and it's you can okay well I'm made a mistake and it opened it way too much which is uh, the wrong FS editing tools which you're gonna do all this and then the exe FS this this is why you need to do that name it exe and then that dot code this is what you're gonna this will do the pickup so you can randomize the teams to randomize the pickup items you get the mark Mutu and Opire says it doesn't work anymore so I'm not gonna try and then this for type chart starters and get Pokemon for as of now it causes It to crash. I don't know if it does fix itself. It will work. And I'm gonna show you everything else. What you have to do, but I'm not gonna do the the the. EXEFS, but EXEFS dot bin. And when you do that. Or you, when, it, when you download it from here, I'll repackage it from click and rebuild and EX EFS. Name it that. When you do that, you put it back in your user file and then redo the command thing again for just that one. And when you do that, you drag out the code.bin file and rename it the, the letters for your Pokemon game. So for randomized or whatever you set it as. So but like I said, it does take a little bit of time for the this to load. I hate that it does take time because it's gonna make the video a little bit longer. Uh the capture software I have, it doesn't exactly end. I'll have to record a whole new part just to do this. So it's pretty much almost done right now. And it's it's done. So when it opens up, it's gonna when it opens up, it crashed on me, which I hate when it does that because I clicked on it. Sometimes it will do that if you accidentally click on it too many times. Sorry about the issue. I don't know what was going on with it, but it's doing it all over again. And then I'm just going to show you again with the wall counters. I'm going to change one specific thing because I'm on that route. And I'm going to change it to where I'll have a legendary on that route by fishing. And I'll show you all that it does work. Or I'll just show a random Pokemon that I put in the grass just to make it easier. And it's going to load up. It does, again, take a little bit of time, which I wish it didn't. It takes a little bit of time for it to fully load up. And when it does...
load up all the way, it evolves into something entirely different like you've probably seen in an other video I made of the, I'm pretty much calling it the evolving into what series, that's who's the egg moves, the, you can make a Pokemon Mega Evolve into something that's not it, like you can make a Pikachu Mega Evolve into one of the cosplay ones, uh, you can change the title screen with your own title screen like I'm doing right here with this file for the title logo. Uh, you can do it for moving trainer. You can randomize trainers. You can make them have whatever you want to have. Um, some of the stuff I don't mess with, which is the match, the mansion. I don't mess with that, and I don't mess up. I don't mess with the move tutor or the O power because it doesn't work, and I don't mess with the type chart starter and get Pokemon because that will cause it to crash and not work. Then you have to do everything all over again, and. Uh, see, like, sometimes it doesn't want to respond, but then it will respond just like that again. Yeah, see, it's not responding. It's just going to take a minute for it to load. Sometimes it does have this issue, which I wish it didn't, because then it would be better if it didn't have this issue. But at least we have this, thanks to the creator for it. Okay, so you'll get this, which is or ask wild editor. I forgot to mention also when you're doing this, if you don't, and when you preload your game, if you drag over whether it be X, Y, or Mega Rev Sapphire, for a Mega Rev Sapphire, it'll prompt up yes or no. You click yes and then no for uh, X and Y. Okay, see, I'm gonna go to the route that I'm on right now, which is Route 119. I'm this is from the Alpha Sapphire, now my Mega Rig Randomizer that I'm going to keep doing videos of. If y'all want more, sorry for that random pop-up. Okay, so, and then you have to go to the water part. This is for Route 119. Did that, and, uh, and then what you're going to do is that you're going to, see, I'm going to just name it that. And with this, you can also change it to a certain type if you want. But it, it's a 50 the chance of actually being the one you want unless you know the type. So, I know the type of certain ones, so I wouldn't do it unless you know that type. But that's what I'm going to do for the encounters. And I'm, you have to click Save Current Encounters. And when you click save and do this, it would it would do. It. But I'll I'll show this with you as, and well. And what I'll do is I'll change the land, uh, the tall grass. I'm gonna change one of the first one, and I'll change it to I don't know, uh, probably something that y'all probably like. Just not Voltorb. I'll change it to Volcanion, and then it'll show it. And then I click save encounters again. Just double click it to make sure and then when you do that get out of it and it'll load it up once this loads up and finishes i'll show you that it repackages it which takes a while i'm gonna off camera off the recording and then i will show you the rest on the 3ds that it did work because repackaging the the file does take a while or I probably will combine this in like the one giant video okay guys we're back and now that the ROM FS is finished which is right here we're just gonna close out of PK30S unless you want to rebuild the EXE FS which is for this but since I already have that I'm not gonna redo that so I'm just gonna close out of it and it's gonna close the program out And then when you do that and it closes out, and 
and uh, sorry for the inconvenience. Just trying to find out where I put some stuff at. Okay, sorry for that little delay. I had to find some stuff I was looking for. And then pretty much when you get that done, just get your 3DS SD card ready. I'm using a new 3DS XL, so it requires a micro USB. So you're going to need a USB adapter or like a regular SD card slot that you can put in there. Okay, so this is pretty much all the stuff for homebrew. I'm not going to show everything I got, so... Pretty much all what you're going to do is that once you're done fully with um, the editing stuff, you're going to, I'm going to help y'all with this program, which you're going to have to download this anyways. And I'm going to show you what to fully do. It's called HXD. A link will be in the description as well for this one. You'll drag your ROM over to it and it'll show all these numbers. Okay, so what you're going to do is that you're going to highlight all the way down. So, and you're going to be kind of slowly when it gets to the F because you have to find this one right here, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, F, F, 0. And what you're going to do is that you're going to click delete. And when you click delete, it asks you, do you want to do that? And you say, okay. I mean, if you did it right, it's going to say 28 at the beginning. If not, then just click edit and undo. If you did everything correctly, just click save. And when you save, it's going to create a backup just to be safe. And then, uh,. When this finishes creating the backup, which like it says is 27 seconds left, the creating the backup after f doing this doesn't take very long. And then when that the backup is finished, it's gonna save it, which it can take a little bit of time depending how big the file and stuff is, whatever. See, what this does is that it takes off some of the the filing to allow you to play it on Hans. Because Hans is the homebrew program you need to make this work. And if you don't do this, Hans will load up still. But it will just crash or fail or freeze. It won't show up anything. And um, once we get this all finished, I'll transfer it to the SD card. And then I'll show you on with the 3DS on how that it works and everything. And this can take up a couple of times, so you might see the video pause or whatever. Because sometimes homebrew is not really reliable and it crashes when loading up. Sometimes, sometimes I don't know why. Uh, hope the creator will probably fix it if he can. But anyways, this is almost finished. And when this is finished, just going to exit out of this. And when you do that. You'll just get the ROM itself. Go. Uh, you have to make a folder in the the main part for the 3DS called Hans. You have to name it Hans, and then you open it up. And I have other ROMs in there already, which I already have one for this, but for the tour's sake, and also because while well, I'm editing this ROM for my girlfriend, anyways, you're gonna copy it, and then I'm gonna replace it. And if you don't have one already, and it's not gonna do anything like that when it's finished. I'll stop this this video and then continue on the on recording outside of this.
Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pause this until this is finished, or I'm just going to stop the video here and then continue the rest on the on showing through the 3DS. So we'll get back to this once this is finished and on the 3DS. Hey guys, now that we're back to the DS, uh, I'm showing you all this. This is the easiest thing I found at Walmart. They're pretty cheap, like four or five bucks. It's a USB adapter for memory sticks. It has like tons of different ports. Just get it and you'll be able to do it more easier. But for homebrew wise, I'm using this, which is, you can't really tell, it's a Sky 3DS. And we just got to put it in the DS. Okay, and then I'll show up Cubic Ninja. Now I'm hoping that it'll work on the first time for to load up the for homebrew because sometimes it doesn't want to work with me, sometimes it does. If if it doesn't load up the first time, I'm gonna have to reset it. Okay, so for once it wants to work with me. Okay, well sometimes it doesn't exactly want to work because it does that by itself. But anyways, there's the Hans program. And then just got to exchange the carts for my Alpha Sapphire cart. And once you get that in there. Okay, here's Brain Dump, which you're going to need to dump the ROM. Um, it's pretty simple. Brain Dump is pretty simple to use. I'll leave a link again. Choose for it. And then here's Hans. You're going to click on it. And it'll show you your game. It's going to do this. Don't freak out. Okay, it just does that. And then uh, just have this check no, have that check no, that just whatever, that's to make the game faster or not. Then where it says code, if you did the code part, check yes. And then if you did, which the ROMs, which you need, period, click yes. And then okay. Then it'll load it up. And it loads up the game. Then, while well, I'm in here, so. Then, if you look at the Dex Nav at the bottom, which. The game crashed because of the Dex Nav. So, sometimes it will do this if you do the ROM. Kind of wrong. So, Dex Naving does have issues with legendary Pokemon for some reason. Uh, so, I'd be very careful while using it. So, what I'm going to do is just click on it again. And um, I'm just going to turn off the decks now before I ex exit out of the building. That way I can do it without it crashing on me. That There's that one issue with it besides the starter issue that that will happen. Don't know why but in particular that happens. Um, the creator hasn't said anything about it that I've known. I've checked his Twitter nonstop and everything. And I'll have links to everything in the description. And also, it could be because of Volcanion, because, well, well Volcanion, 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 whatever his name is, you know, can cause it to crash. And then here I'm on Route 119, as it says down there, and then I'm going to go right here. And then just to show you a little bit before I do the Pokemon battle. Okay, so here's the team I have, which I have this artillery that I did make, as you can tell, with the... Uh, PC Hex is like PK Hex, but for the homebrew, and I'll just, it's not really that great, but, you know, and then you see how it's a, it's a, a ground flying type, and the moves are all different, and then this is for all the Pokemon, and then I'm going to show you right now with this, and then just throw the Super Rod out there, see, Octillery is such a couple of people know how to fish chain, you know what it does, it allows you to get the Pokemon without fail. And then there it is. A Zygarde right there. And then when I end this video, I'm going to start chaining for a shiny one. And hopefully I can do a live reaction video of it. And then you have a smoke ball on your Pokemon. And then, you know, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Pokemon fan, signing out.